Welcome back to another episode of Robo CNC. I'm Marcel. Today we're gonna finish the X axis um, by placing these uh, linear rails and the uh, bearing blocks. And afterwards we're gonna place the uh, gantry, the Y axis, on top of it. So in the previous video you've seen me build this frame. Uh, the bottom frame and the top frame all together now and now we're placing the 20 millimeter Hewin rail I found that it's most easy to place the bolts and the item nuts onto the Hewin rail and then slide them in like so On the linear carriage, the bearing block is a shiny side and some text, and that should uh, align with uh, the rail. I've talked about this in previous videos, but it's important to have a reference side on everything when you're building a precision machine like this. So the text on the bearing block and the text on the linear rail are readable from the same position. Now on one side of the CNC machine, on the x-axis, I just eyeball the, the heaving rail to be in the middle of the slot and then tighten the first bolt. Doesn't really matter if it's really precise, just eyeball it. With a magnetic base and a dial indicator, I can now align this first rail to the side of the machine. Just set the dial indicator to zero, close to the first bolt. It's just that we're going to call this one zero. From here we're gonna write down the track and as you can see in the right hand side of the screen I'm, I'm adjusting the rail to read zero on the dial and then I tighten the second bolt. Sanity check and up to the next bolt. Putting some slight pressure on the rail just moves it a little little bit as you can see. Now we can adjust it to zero and tighten the third bolt. And when you do this and check it a few times you can really get uh, get it to a really close uh, close fit, close tolerance to the side of the machine and indeed I'm uh, assuming that the side of the machine, the rail, is quite square. But uh, talking to the people at Damen CNC and Hewin, I can uh, uh, assume it is. As you can see, I got it within one hundredth of a millimeter, which is uh, even smaller than half a thou if you're uh, talking in inches. So I've taken off the carriage uh, again and now can uh, assemble uh, well these bearing blocks with the aluminum part that keeps everything together. Then cleaning everything, making sure all reference sides are on the correct, uh, correct side. And uh, well, these, these aluminum blocks are not uh, symmetrical don't know if you can see it but on the left side um, there's a bit bigger gap um, and on the right side it's a bit smaller and uh, you will see why later on but well have a close look at all the reference sides before you uh, before you assemble if you follow this build anyway
So this was the rail we just uh, adjusted. So the big side is on the reference side. So the bigger gap is on the reference side of the, the carriages. Um, and again, on the reference side of the complete machine now. So from the rail and the frame. This is the text with the arrow to the left. Shiny side of the carriages. And if you look at the other side of the machine, the shiny side is um, pointing to the same side. So they're not pointing to the outside of the machine, but they're all pointing to, uh, well, call it Y0, um, which is going to be my Y0. So everything references to the same, well, item profile. Well, this one is already bolted down, as we saw earlier in the video, and this one is not. We can just slide it, and we're going to leave it like that for now. time to assemble the, or well, to place the gantry, which is quite heavy. I think uh, everything you see here is about uh, 150 kilos, so it's quite heavy everything. Using a woodworking clamp, I, uh, I clamp these, uh, these bearing blocks and the aluminum piece inside, or clamp it, I, I shift it inside. It should slide in, but if everything is a real tight tolerance, so needed a little hand, uh, extra hand to, to slide it in. So the side on the, on the reference side of the machine, the Y0 side, um, is already uh, bolted down. 
I'm bolting down the other side, so Y maximum of the of the CNC machine. And since this hewing rail is still not bolted down to the frame, it can just slide, so it will automatically adjust to be square to the other side of the machine, which we zeroed with a dial indicator. So holding down the human rail, placing the carriage right to the well, the end of the rail. I can now tighten the, the hex nut, the bolt, and um, it should automatically square up with the other side. So doing one bolt in the front and one bolt in the back of the, the profile. And this way I bolt down the complete hewing rail. So it's starting to look like a CNC machine. I am going to do a follow-up video on this, uh, on this piece because I want to talk a little bit more about this design. Uh, and why I went for this design, where it came from. Uh, but first I'm going to go on a well-deserved vacation um, off to the sun. And uh, hope you understand, hope you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe and thanks for watching.